Be nice to squeeze out some rain out of these clouds, Mark. It seems like the same thing every week with the drought. Yeah, it sure seems that way. And as of now, we're okay for fireworks uh, for the 4th of July. But next week, a uh, new prediction shows a uh, historic drought that we're now in. Well, it likely is probably going to continue as we head through the rest of the summer. The folks at the LCRA say there is more that they wish they could do. Only God can produce rain, unfortunately. And, and I, as the LCRA pastor, I have prayed at every meeting, Lord, please give us rain. Now, LCRA officials say they know people are frustrated that the water levels in the Highland Lakes are so low, but they say people need to keep in mind that lake levels go up and down by design. The drought has had a devastating economic effect, not only on lake uh, recreational areas, as well as uh, people downstream. Uh, people even within the city of Austin who, uh, you know, are having to be more, more mindful of curtail curtailing water. Now, the agency is urging everyone to do what they can to conserve water and help us get through this drought, which seems like it has been never ending. And well, uh, no rain in sight, at least for the next couple of days. We've only seen about a half of an inch so far through the month of June. And with plenty of sunshine in the skies today and really no trigger mechanism out there to kick up any showers, it's another dry, steamy and yeah, hot afternoon lined up for us in central Texas. Over the capital this afternoon, after a morning full of cloud cover, it's nothing but blue skies now out there. And look at those temperatures already in the low 90s. Now it's been a little breezy at times so far today and that will help cool you down a little bit. Could see wind gusts 20 maybe 25 miles per hour as we get into this afternoon. But generally speaking it is a very quiet day across the Lone Star State. We saw a couple of showers try to pull in off the Gulf a little bit ago. They all faded away. Just not enough energy out there to keep them going. So it will be another uh, sunny afternoon all the way through sunset tonight as temperatures thanks to that sunshine will really begin to ratchet up as we uh, get into the second half of the day. Already at 90 in Georgetown, too. These 70s we're seeing out there, those are inaccurate readings. Look at the 90s. That's where everybody is at on the map right now. San Marcos, 91. Fredericksburg, though, that is probably a correct reading at 85. And Lano checking in at 91 degrees. By day's end, at Camp Mabry, the first 100 degree day of the year anticipated. Now, ABIA did it yesterday. Camp Mabry, though, our other reporting site, hit 99 yesterday. So we'll see if we can top out at 100 here today. Again, breezy and sunny and then after sunset tonight just a couple of passing clouds as by 10 p.m. we'll drop down to about 86 degrees and we get into future temps and we're going to show you that we get in through the next 24 hours or so by the way at 5 p.m. there are those 100 degree temperatures over the next 24 hours we'll continue to stay warm into tomorrow morning 7 a.m. we get off on the hump day on our morning commute looking at the mid 70s still a warm morning a little muggy out there and then tomorrow afternoon here we go again back into the low 100s across the board our model saying about 103. I think we'll top out just a few degrees below that right around 101, but still pretty hot all the way through the rest of this week and into Saturday. In fact, our entire seven day forecast includes triple digit highs, including today, 100 degrees, plenty of sun, a little breezy tonight. We're down to about 77 and your seven day forecast shows 100s all the way through next week. Best chance for rain, not until Sunday. And that at best is a 10% shot. Hmm.